Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be reacting to the FIFA 21 official career mode trailer released by EA Sports uh, uh, quite a while ago. I had some family issues, I don't want to go into it uh, going on in the background, so of course I couldn't do a live reaction. Um, and plus I just wasn't feeling well yesterday. So either way, we are going to be doing a reaction to uh, the official trailer today. Uh, if, before we get started, if you guys like the video, then please do hit the thumbs up button. And also subscribe to the channel, it would really massively help me out. Also feel free to go check out the trailer in its own, uh, in its own self. Uh, there's a link in the top right corner and there's also a link in the description. And if you don't want me commentating uh, over and after it, then yeah, obviously go check it out. Uh, in its entirety. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Sit back, relax, and let's get into the video. Let's get stuck in. Love the intro. Absolutely love the intro. There's Managing a darn Lampard. FIFA 21 career mode with a new interactive match sim, more control over training and developing your squad, and more ways to sign players. Whoa, loan with option to buy. We have waited for this for so, so, so long, guys. Oh my god. Look at this. Basic terms, loan to buy. Oh my god, we could actually be having some some progression with transfer negotiations. Bro, this is great. This this is good news. As on the transfer market. We already know about the match sim. That was the most popular one. You can go in, you can make subs, jump into the game. I wonder if there's anything else that they might release on this video. Ready for a whole new way to play out your career. The brand new interactive match sim gives you full control when simming matches. Jump in and out of the action when you decide to change the course of the game. <laughs> Just come on if you're 3-0 down and, and change the difficulty, win 4-3. I mean, I guess, yeah, you could cheat like that, but, you know, I don't know. I understand why they've added it, but in is, uh, like me, I see it, sometimes it could be seen as cheating. I'm on the fence of it. It's still pretty fe uh, new news to me, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know. I'm still on the fence, but once I get the game then I'll be able to really make a proper judgement. Or take charge for key moments to dominate the moments that matter. Keep an eye on match stats and player performance levels and make subs or tactical changes on the fly. Influence the outcome of the match. Alright, player development. Does this mean we're going to have a better focus on dynamic potential or something like that? Is that have they changed something on it? Do older players not go down in overall just because they're old now or something like that? A new player growth system puts you in charge of your squad's development. Spotted a gap in your team? Turn marauding fullbacks into wingers and goal scoring midfielders into false nines with new position training. Wait. So this means that Roberto Firmino might actually score some goals. And new Hang development on. plans give you control over wow. each player's growth. I don't know what the plus one and plus two is all about because if Salah starts at an 88 and Mane starts at an 86 and Firmino starts at an 83, you know, that's where I see flaws, but. I don't know what the the plus in overall mean. Does that does that mean like the oh Bobby has five star skills? Um, does that mean that you've got um a plus three in like on average in terms of stats in, increased? I don't know what this means, guys. It, it's quite confusing. I guess that's one of the beauties of finding out when the game gets released. To match your style of play. Solid header. Manage your team schedule and train multiple players at the same. Oh my god, you can... Oh, oh, okay. Well, you can train more than one player, like, in each in each thing. That is awesome. But can I ask, why are you training Mares Gundogan, De Bruyne, Aguero, and, um, what's his face, Carl Walker? That just doesn't make any sense to me. ...time with a new activity management system. What is this thing on the right-hand side? What does this mean? You've got schedule rules... Before match is like a rest day, and then after the match is a training day. Oh, wow! This is okay. That that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You got you got to you got to give him that. That's pretty cool. Choose when to rest and when to train throughout the week, as you balance your players' morale and fitness with match sharpness. A new stat that shows you how like. Oh, instead of just morale, you've got fitness and sharpness now. Holy cow, that's pretty good. And again, I don't know what the plus two, minus two, minus three, plus one, whatever you know on the on the um the on the players in the squad. I don't know what those numerals mean. Do they mean in stats? Because Rodri eighty four would be unfair. Mares eighty two would be unfair. Um, what's his face? Uh, Laporte as an eighty six would be ridiculous. And Fernandinho as an eighty four would be even worse. 
So again, I'm not making assumptions, but I don't know what that's about, and I'd love to know. ...players are to perform at their peak. Then boost it with group training sessions, monitor your players' progression, and find that sweet spot with fitness and morale to keep your... So I think that the training might have more to do than just young player development. I think it might keep players' sharpness and all that in check, so you actually have training sessions now, rather than it just be a centre for abusing the development on a, on a younger player. Team firing on all cylinders. New transfer options. I want to know what this is about. Whether you're all about the Galacticos or the hunt for the brightest young prospects, new options give you more ways to transfer players and a more realistic transfer market in FIFA 20. Loan to buy, yeah. Find players on loan to buy deals and negotiate player swap offers with other proper player swaps. Yo, they can ask. Oh my god, wait, it says, yeah, we want to sign Zuma in part of the deal. They can actually ask for player swaps, thank god. Please say that this works properly, EA, please. The managers, to bolster your squad each transfer window. Enhanced AI opposition, yes, please. The thing is with AI opposition on FIFA 20, for example, is... You know, one game they're unstoppable, you can't penetrate through the defense and you can't defend against them. And then other games you can do it without even actually playing. You could just, you know, rub your ass against the controller a few times and you'd win 6-0. Overhauled opposition AI gives you a more intelligent opponent to play against in every match you Ooh. play. New tackling, player switching and marking logic makes opposition defense Proper marking to break down. logic. And at the other end of the pitch, more intelligent attackers have a stronger understanding of dribbling and passing to keep you on your toes from game to game. Woo! With new ways to train, play, and make transfers, manage every moment of your career in FIFA 21. Nice. No, that looks good, guys. That looks good. All in all, I'd say it looks very good, and it's, I mean, it's not hard, but it's on par to beat FIFA 20, probably FIFA 19 as well. It looks, you know, we weren't expecting a huge big change, but it does look like it has a, quite a few innovative things, of course, the, the simulation interaction and all that sort of stuff. It's really, 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 really good, and hopefully it can live up to its expectation this year and at least reach par that would be that would be really good thank you guys very much for watching this again if you want to go check out the uh, the regular trailer without me commentating over it and giving you my opinion of it then go check out the eye in the top right corner and the link down in the description below so and, and leave a comment on uh, what you think of FIFA 21 and how it looks to you and all that sort of stuff uh, but besides that that's all I have to say thank you very much for watching leave a like subscribe and I will see you all in the next video it's